Hi, my name is Michal Eitan and I'm a long-time member at the UNESCO NetExplore University Advisory Board member, manager, a design thinker, and a professor at Bezalel Academy of Art and Design in Jerusalem, Israel. In the past 15 years, I'm teaching strategy, entrepreneurship, and sustainability using design thinking tools. I've graduated from university long time ago with a bachelor degree in business and sociology and got my first job in a small startup where I oversaw understanding customer needs and conveying them to the development team. Back then, I never heard of design thinking, but today I can tell you that design thinking, which put the user needs as a starting point, was the methodology I followed back then. Technology is the most powerful force that have been changing the world that we live in in the past 30 years. Design thinking for me is the tool that connect technology to people and enable this revolution by building common language and letting people all over the world enjoy the fruits of this revolution. Today, I would like to share my latest project that used this methodology, the Florence Project, named after Florence Nightingale, the social reformer and the founder of modern nursing. We've set up a real design studio in the heart of one of the biggest hospitals in Israel, Soroka Medical Center, located in the southern metropolitan city of Be'er Sheva. It is the first in the field classroom where we got closer to patients, staff, and family members to understand the real challenges they are facing and find them solutions. We've decided to try and tackle one of the most common pain points of the hospital experience all over the world, hospital food. The idea was to try and figure out why satisfaction level did not improve after investing a lot of money in technology, an app that will allow patients to order their favorite food, manage delivery, and planning. Being located at the hospital ground, just one minute away from the children's ward, made it very easy for us to start the first stage of design thinking, observing and talking to people, all kinds of people, patient, staff, and family members. We went there and stayed with the staff that served breakfast. We were there also for lunch and dinner. We've talked to patients that has their meal in bed, and with hospital staff that serve them. We've spoken with the parents of patients and went to the main kitchen to understand the operation side of the meeting. It was an educating experience. Every round of observation resulted in a new insight. Every person we interviewed added a new point of view, a different way to look at the whole experience. Designers work with empathy as their primary tool, and empathy is the most important tool that can help us use technology in a better and effective way. Next, we had an ideation session with all the stakeholders. We got more than 100 ideas, some crazy, but some led us toward groundbreaking solution. Prototyping the solution, even with a cardboard model, and observing people try it, help us understand what is missing from the technological solution and what can be done to make it more human and useful. Prototyping helped us build common language and precise solution and allowed us to make improvement time after time until it answered all needs. At the end of the project, we introduced seven different solutions for the eating process to the hospital management. We offered better user experience. We found that people from different backgrounds need different solutions. We showed that small changes can make technology more usable and more effective. We've changed the way people get the information. We've helped the staff understand the needs of the patient and create a better and easy process that improved the overall experience. The process we performed in the Florence project helped us demonstrate how powerful design thinking can be in finding solutions to human needs. Soroka Hospital embraced most of our solutions, expecting them to become operational in the next few months. I truly believe that understanding people's needs is the key to better technology and better world. Digital technology is here, everywhere, but it cannot do the magic by itself. Our job and mission are to make it available and useful for all. Thank you.